Today, we're going to be comparing the top two models that are absolutely popping off right now. Google Gemini versus Optimus Alpha. And we'll be seeing which one performs the best for coding. And a lot of people are in the Google Gemini camp. So let's see which one is the best. Now, if we just want to compare them side by side, the main thing to note here is that Optimus Alpha, which is a self model, some people are linking it to OpenAI or even Claude as well. Some people are saying it's a new Haiku model. But you can see here it has a million token context. It costs zero dollars to use. So you can actually code for it for free. So, for example, like I actually built out this office simulator using Optimus Alpha. And you can also see this tie app that I built. Additionally, this is just in the alpha period. So I think it will be a paid model eventually. But right now it's just free because they're trying to use data. I think they're trying to collect data to see how people use it. You can use Optimus Alpha inside Recode and Klein. You also got Google Gemini 2.0 Flash or 2.5 Experimental. These are really good coding models. I honestly prefer 2.5 Pro Experimental. And that is free to code with as well. If you actually go over to AI Studio, dot google.com you can start coding with this directly let me show you exactly how this works so if we go into gemini and then we select 2.5 preview 0325 in the top right we can start using this to code things out right so we're going to be comparing these side by side and seeing which one performs the best so let's start out inside the chat here we'll start using optimus alpha so you can just select optimus alpha from the drop down model remove auto router and we'll just stick with this one and then we've got the same inside here. So we're going to go with a very basic thing here, which is make me a captivating endless runner game. Key instructions on the screen. P5JS scene, no HTML. I like pixelated dinosaurs and interesting backgrounds, right? So we'll go inside Gemini and we'll use that prompt. And we'll do the same inside Open Router. And then we can see which one performs the best. We're using exactly the same prompts on both. As you can see, we'll pull them up and side by side to see which one is the best. Now, the thing that you're going to notice is straight off the bat is that Gemini 2.5 Pro is a thinking model. So whereas Optimus Alpha seems to be like a base model that doesn't seem to think at all, Gemini 2.5 Pro just goes straight into thinking mode before it actually codes in for now. So it's going to be interesting to see. Honestly, from what I've seen, Optimus Alpha you can get good outputs, but it requires a lot more tweaking, right? So it takes a lot more time to build things out. But let's see what we get back here. We're going to go on to P5.js and just compare them in terms of the code. We've got the code coming out from Optimus Alpha right there, and both of them are taking a little while. It is going to take a little bit of time to code something like this out. So let's see what we get back in a second. So we've got the code back. Let's test out Optimus Alpha first. We'll copy the code here, and then we'll plug it into the P5.js editor, hit play, see what we get back. And there we go. That is actually looking pretty good, to be fair. It, say, it does say press space to jump, which doesn't seem to work. But if you click the mouse, it does work. The UI is pretty nice right there. It's working perfectly. And that looks pretty good, all right? Now let's compare that versus Gemini. So we'll copy this, plug it in here, and we'll play that. And that is really buggy. But let's see what we got back. Look how buggy that is, the screen. It's like really weird background. Honestly, from what I can see, I would go with Optimus Alpha for the outputs. I know some people, haters in the comments are going to say, you don't have the right prompts or something like that. But this is the actual official prompt that Google did in their demo. And if you compare that versus the UI of this, again, we'll just grab that and run this from Optimus Alpha. Like Optimus Alpha's UI is so much nicer, right? It's not buggy. It works perfectly first time round. It looks a bit more interesting. It's a bit more straightforward to play. Just the overall UI is much nicer. Even when it breaks, it's better. So I'm going to go with Optimus Alpha for that one. I think that the first round, all right? They both finished about the same time. Obviously, what's interesting here is that you would assume something as complex as that, like where it's coding out a really long game, you'd assume that Google and Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview would do a much better job simply because it's got that thinking mode. It's got that reasoning mode first. But from what I can see, it's not as good. So we've done exactly the same prompt. Haters are still going to hate on me, whatever I say. But from what I've seen so far, Optimus Alpha is beating Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is massive because obviously Gemini 2.5 Pro, it will be a paid model once they finish the alpha period of it. So next up, we're going to test writing. I'm going to take a prompt from the AI Profit Boardroom if you want to get this SAP. And this is for creating SEO content, all right? So we've tested both models on creating games. Now let's see how they perform for writing content. So I'm gonna plug in, again, exactly the same prompt. We'll put SEO training Japan as the keyword here and inside Optimus Alpha as well. 
we'll see which one performs the best. So Gemini is just having a little think about it, refining the whole outline and everything else. Optimus Alpha has gone straight into creating the content, but it's written in HTML for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. We'll check back in a second. Maybe that's inside the prompt. Did we put output in HTML? Yeah, we did. That's why. Okay, great. So we'll test the content again, but I'm just going to remove the HTML prompt. There we go. And um, we'll do the same inside Optimus Alpha. And we'll just test which one creates the most humanized content. I don't know why it's labeled stuff as H2 inside Gemini. That's weird. So you see here how it's put like H2, want a custom SEO game plan for Japan. The format in there is pretty bad compared to Optimus Alpha. But we'll test them in a second. We'll see which one side by side performs the best. Plus we'll test them for AI detection in a second as well. So Gemini is finished before Optimus Alpha. So one thing to bear in mind there is Gemini 2.5 Pro seems to be faster, seems to win on speed. But if the outputs aren't as good, what's the point? So let's have a look what we got back here. I'm just going to copy this into a Google Doc because it's not very easy to read inside the chat. See what we got. All right. So if we compare these side by side, right? SEO training Japan, the brutally honest blueprint that works from the trenches. It's H1 colon for some reason. I don't know why it's done that. Looking for real SEO training in Japan. Here's the straight dope. What sort of a headline is here's the straight dope? Terrible. So this is the output from Gemini 2.5 Pro. Again, I would say Optimus Alpha wins by quite a long way right now. All right, let's talk SEO training in Japan. Seriously. It's just two sentences of fluff, isn't it? Right there. Not very good. Whereas, for example, here's what I keep hearing. How can I get my site ranking locally in Japan? Is in the Japanese market totally different? Why does my English SEO training just not cut it in Japan? Is AI about to wreck my site and my job or rocket boost me ahead? These are the worries keeping you up at night, right? I get it. The Japanese search landscape is unique. I would say the content on here is just much better. It's not got any weird like H1s or H2s next to each section. It's formatted a bit nicer. Like there's some, there's a lot of weird bullet points here as well inside Gemini's content. So again, I would say Optimus Alpha is beating Gemini 2.5 Pro by quite a long way right there. Now, what we can do next is we can actually take the content and just compare them side by side for humanization. So what I'm going to do is I will take the content, first of all, from Optimus Alpha. Let's grab that. We'll plug that into zero GPT and just check it for AI detection, see how it performs. And you can see it comes back as 100% human written. So it bypasses AI detectors. Now let's do the same thing with Gemini. Maybe they'll both pass, but let's see. So we'll hit detect X, see what we get back here. And that detects it as 1.67% AI GPT. It's not a massive amount to be fair, like that is only a tiny amount, but quantitatively, if you were comparing them side by side, which one creates the most humanized content, it would be Optimus Alpha. And that is outperforming Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is pretty crazy when you ask me. So in terms of everything so far, for coding out games, Optimus Alpha wins. For creating content, Optimus Alpha wins. For humanizing content, the only thing Gemini 2.5 Pro is winning on is speed. But why would you want something faster if it's not as good? I'd take quality over speed any day. So really interesting to see how these perform and which one's doing the best so far. Now what we can do is I'm going to grab Let's go over to the AI profit border. I'm going to grab some example prompts to compare this against just to benchmark them. So we're going to go with what we got here. All right. Design an interactive AI growth calculator for the website. We'll grab that and we'll plug it into both Optimus Alpha and into AI Studio. I'm going to start a new room here to get rid of the context. Here we go. Peeps. We'll do the same thing inside AI Studio as well. The other thing to note here is that Gemini 2.5 Pro, it does have a limit, right? So you see here, there's actually no limit on using Open Optimus Alpha, right? So when you're using this, you can use it as much as you want. You're not going to come across limits. It's not going to hit like a certain token limit or anything like that. But it seems to just go on and on without running out, right? Whereas, for example, on Google Gemini, if you're coding with it, if you're using the API from AI Studio, then it does often hit limits. And those limits get hit pretty quickly, which is super annoying when you're trying to code something out that requires a lot of back and forth. So let's see what we get back from Gemini Studio. Now we're going to test this out on LiveWeave. So we have the HTML, JS, and CSS. Let's grab this out, copy this, we'll plug it in, and we'll get the CSS as well. We go. And then we have the JS. Why is that not working? I think it's made it quite complicated. So it's giving me a bunch of instructions right here. But 
that oh we've got the output back here so it's pretty basic if we have a look let's see if it works not bad that looks pretty nice to be fair it's clean it's simple i don't mind that i don't mind that at all all right so that's the output from gemini now let's test the output from optimus alpha so we go back inside the chat here just gonna say do again wait for that to load all right so we've got that back let's copy it and test it out plug in the code from optimus alpha let's see that doesn't look as nice to be fair let's compare it side by side yeah so i think for you look at that compared side by side so Gemini, they're both not amazing, but Gemini's UI is much nicer on a one shot versus using Optimus Alpha, right? It just doesn't look as nice. The font is a little bit dated, pretty basic right there. I'm going to say Gemini 2.5 won that round, to be fair. Like it's much nicer, looks a lot better. So thanks so much for watching. So I would say if you're creating games, if you're humanizing content, if you're creating content, and if you want something that can code a big project without any interruptions, then go with Optimus Alpha. If you want to, for example, code out a tool, a SaaS tool, or you want a nicer front end, then I'd actually go with coding with Gemini 2.5 Pro. But bear in mind, you are going to hit a lot of limits. So just be careful of that. Now, if you want to get access to all the prompts, tips, templates, and SAPs for using Optimus Alpha, feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. We have SAPs on Bolt Local, NA10, Rucode, Client, Chat Directly, etc. So for example, if we click on the NA10 section here, it will take us through to loads of different AI agents you can use, including all these different templates you can import into NA10. Now this community is focused on making more money and saving time with AI. So feel free to make sure you sign up, link in the comments description. Prices are going up this month, so make sure you sign up now before you miss out. And inside the community here, you can ask people any questions you have. And additionally, you can jump on weekly Q&A calls with us and ask us any questions here, right? Link in the comments, it's an amazing community and you can get it linked below. Additionally, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 bits this month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to get that on this free link building acceleration session. We'll give you a custom tailored game plan to get more free leads, free sales, and free profits directly from Google and other search engines. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching and see you on the next one. Cheers.